Uh, how is the stimulus uh, playing back home in Montana? Well, people understand that uh, it's uh, about a third of it's going to be spent in highway construction. Of course, in right. Montana, you heard me in there, we are nine times the size of Denmark and we have one sixth of the population. So we drive long distances and highway construction is important to us. $211 million worth of highway construction means we're going to put uh, a few thousand people to work immediately. We're going to invest in a new energy future with transmission lines and pipelines, yeah. put people to work, and, and we're going to make our buildings more energy efficient. If we decrease the consumption of energy in our schools and our state and federal buildings, that means that there will be a permanent annuity. I mean, as we go forward, every year there's 30% less money spent on energy. So people in Montana recognize that we're building our infrastructure, we're creating jobs, and we're creating a new energy future. Yeah. And uh, are you seeing any uh, backlash against the president's uh, proposal on uh, housing bailout? Montana, um, you can understand, we, we, have, uh, we didn't take any TARP funds. Not a right. single bank took TARP funds. Right. Uh, secondly, uh, we have uh, the the lowest or the second lowest foreclosure rate in the country, right. almost none. We had almost a, none of these uh, teaser loans that people right. were so concerned about. But we are not an island. And so when folks in California can't sell their houses, that means they can't move to Montana. Right. When, when people in Arizona can't get their house uh, sold, uh, they can't uh, buy a business in Montana. When people in Florida can't sell their buildings, uh, they can't buy a ranch in Montana. So. Um, we are affected uh, in a global sense by what's happening into the real estate market with the 1031 tax law. Uh -huh. We are affected because people want to sell what they got someplace right. else, and I can't blame them. They want to get to Montana. Right. But Harry, I mean, uh, you, I, I take it you like the president's. Well, I think plan. so. I mean, yeah. bottom line is uh, this: this is not going to be used by people that were uh, speculating with homes. Right. It has to be your primary home. You have to have been current in your payment. I mean, this is not going to reward bad behavior. Right. And uh, let me ask you about your visit to the White House. What did you and the president get a chance to talk with? Well, um, I, I just I, I just said to him uh, privately <laughs> that uh, while uh, you know I was a little disappointed uh, with with uh, their their, uh, their progress so far because I said to him, sure, 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 it's only been 30 days and and you've already passed the most significant <laughs> energy and infrastructure and education bill in right. at least 50 years, but uh, you have to take personal responsibility for the fact that you have not selected a puppy yet for for those. <laughs> and so I mean, it, it, we're expecting more. Right. <laughs> He was ashamed, I tell you. <laughs> <laughs> he, he assured me that it has everything to do with, you know, need a little warm weather so he can be assured that the girls will walk that puppy outside. Let, let me ask you one final question. Do you have any sense of uh, the budget and, and how it... Uh you know, things that are in there for Montana, things that are not in there, and well, things you're uh, concerned about? It, yeah. The things that are in it are good for Montana because there's $60 billion in, in loan guarantees for such things as coal gasification plants. Right. There's $3 billion for carbon capture and storage demonstration projects. Right. Uh, and so those are important to Montana because we, we are the fastest increasing oil producer in America and now we need uh, pure streams of CO2 that would come from coal gasification so that we can uh, enhance our oil recovery. So we'll sequester CO2 from coal fired plants and we'll produce more oil. Uh, transmission lines, there's no place in America that transmission lines are more important because we have an inexhaustible supply of wind right. energy and coal.